Hello there, guys, and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today, I want to talk about how I overcame anxiety and depression, and you can do it also in four weeks. I promise you, if you follow this method, just trust me, you will do it in four weeks. Now, I'm going to break down a couple of things that you need to understand about anxiety and depression, and then we're going to go into um, how to overcome it. Before I do that, please do like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. It really helps the channel to grow and be seen. And this is a, something that a lot of people in the world who are dealing with mental health need to see. So share it with someone who needs to see this. Also, please join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, where we're helping each other to create, manifest, and live wonderful lives. So let's talk about anxiety and depression firstly for a minute. Anxiety and depression. Anxiety, when, trust me because I know this, Anxiety is when the energy in your body is just overworking. It's overrun. And, and we've just taught ourselves how to live in this sort of highly aware, um, adrenaline-fueled state all the time. And whereas depression is when we get so overwhelmed with emotion that the body just literally shuts off feeling. Because it says, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with this. Because, and so you've pushed down the energy so much, uh, you, you've been so hurt by your life and how it's been going that your body said, I'm just going to not feel anymore. And that's what the two things are. But what you need to understand is that you are not anxious. You are not depressed. It is a sensation that you are feeling. It is something that you are experiencing. The, the you, the true you, is someone who is just pure love, pure awareness. Okay? So your awareness is is just has no feeling towards anything like that it is just what it is it's awareness so you need to understand that anxiety and depression are sensations are feelings that you are experiencing but they're not you that's the first thing you need to understand they're not you okay so what do i mean by that well for example a great question that was posed by Michael Singer, which really sort of made me realize the truth behind this is, who is it inside me that is noticing that I'm anxious and depressed? What is it inside me that notices? And that question immediately, immediately disconnects you from the actual sensation and it just brings you to pure awareness. So what that then leads me to do and leaded me to discover is that when I realize that I'm not anxiety and I am not depression, it is just a sensation. That means that it is something that my body is experiencing and it's something that I have um, allowed to be experienced and I get too involved in it. You see, I'm involved in it and I'm expecting something outside of myself to be the cure for that. When I was going through anxiety, it was at a time when I was at the height of my career as an actor, you see, and I put out there about, you know, and I manifested that job. And then I just went through this pure burnout and depression and anxiety at what should have been the best time of my life. But what it was, was I didn't realize all the lead up to that, the self-talk, destructiveness and all that, that I was just pushing into my body and it had to express. So what you need to understand is that anxiety and depression are energies that we haven't allowed to naturally pass through us and express. So they're things that we didn't like that we've then held on to and pushed down because we didn't want to deal with them. You see, so the first step to overcoming anxiety then is to just start to notice the feeling. And I know that sounds so simple because you're like, well, I see, I feel that feeling every second of the day. But no, I'm asking you to do it like this. What? No, throughout your day, through the next seven days, just notice what is triggering that response to grow. Just start to sit and scan through the body and notice where the anxiety or depression is existing in the body. Now, for example, for myself, I had it a lot here at the top of my chest. So now I don't really ever really feel anxiety on a regular chronic basis now. But now when I do notice that anxiety and it comes up into my chest, I've learned to sit behind it. Now, let me talk about what I mean by that. <clears throat> Again, you ask yourself, 
What is it inside me that notices I'm feeling anxiety and depression? Well, it is my awareness. Now, my awareness then has no feeling. It is just the light that shines upon the feeling. It allows me to notice the feeling. So if I sit in my awareness then, then I am disconnected from the feeling. Now, the beauty of what I want to tell you on the spiritual level here then is that your body, just the same way as it knows how to digest, uh, how to get rid of waste food and waste water, it knows how to get rid of waste energy. And anxiety and depression are just blocked energy that's been pushed down and down and hasn't been allowed to come up, raise up through the heart and express and, and release. Yeah. Now, when I say express, I don't mean like with rage and with all of that. I mean, literally, it will just release and the, and the feeling of that release is intoxicating and beautiful and blissful. So all I'm going to ask yourself now, if you're feeling on the scale of one to 10 and you're below a five, then I just want you to shut your eyes, scan through your body and notice where you are feeling this anxiety or depression on your body. When you do start to notice where it is, <clears throat> all you're going to do is sit back in the seat of awareness. Now, why do, I, why do we call it the seat of awareness? Because Awareness is always looking in. It isn't there. It isn't involved. It's looking in. So you sit back and you look in on the energy. Okay? And you just start to breathe deeply and you relax your body and you start to allow your shoulders and your body to relax into this awareness. Now, you do not judge the anxiety. You do not try to change it. You do not try to do anything. You just breathe and relax. If you hold this space, you hold it for as long as you need. Okay, it could be five minutes, 20 minutes. Do it. You will then start to notice that that energy moves. You'll start just follow where it wants to go. Just keep breathing and sitting back from it, relaxing. After a while, it's going to release. You're going to feel your body have a center feeling of release. When it does then release, then my friends, this is when we are at the peak of our subconscious mind being ready to be programmed. So you're just going to claim with joy, with harmony, and you're going to say divine peace and harmony fill my soul. Divine love fills my entire being. I am happy and safe. And you just can repeat something like that, that affirmation again. Okay. Now, you may have to do this several times throughout the day. And you're going to, something's going to trigger the anxiety. Zoom, you feel the rush. Where is it on the body though? I'm not going to I'm not going to get involved in it. Where is it on the body? That literally detaches you from the anxiety straight away by asking that question. Scan the body, notice it, breathe and relax, sit back from it, and it will release again. Again, you notice the release. You say divine peace and harmony fill my soul. You claim the divinity. You, peace and harmony is such a natural state of being. Look at the world. The world, the universe we're in is always trying to find balance. It's always trying to find harmony, okay? Your body wants to find harmony. Your body's always trying to find harmony. So by sitting away from it and not embodying it, you allow it to find that. So just, that is how simple it is, guys. Sit back from the feeling. Notice, notice it on the body. Where is it on the body? That's what we first do. Sit back from it, breathe, relax, and just keep breathing and trying to relax your body as much as possible. That energy will release, then you can claim divine peace and harmony. Feel my soul, feel my entire being, divinely guided in all ways, whatever way feels good for you. You do this, do it regularly, systematically throughout the day. After four weeks, I promise you, you will feel such a change. You will feel so different. Now, I'm coaching people on this one to one all the time. Now, if you need that extra support, come and reach out to me because I, no one deserves to feel anxious or depressed. It is an illness that we can eradicate through right action. Just remember, you are not anxious. You are not depressed. It is a sensation that you are feeling. You are not anything except awareness and love. So you claim that divine love once you find the, the space. This energy is just layers of push down energy that you will eventually release. And I promise you, it's as simple as that. If it feels too simple, why not give it a go? The simple stuff is the way that works in spirituality. This is why therapy isn't working for people. It's too complex. Simplify, 
and trust the process. Thank you guys. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.